Hello everyone, so today we're gonna look at a nice result which involves the integration of the function and integration of its inverse of the function. So let's start. So before I start, I want to tell you my setup. The setup is, we have taken a function f inverse in such a way that it is the inverse of the function f of x and f of x is a bijective function as well as differentiable in its entire domain. And f of x is defined from a to b to c to d and f of a is equal to c and f of b is equal to d. Since the function is bijective function, we'll be having two cases. Either the function is monotonically increasing in its entire domain or monotonically decreasing in its entire domain. So here I have assumed that the function is f of x is increasing in its entire domain. That's why f of a, as you can see, f of a is equal to c and f of b is equal to d. So before I start this question, my objective is to find a nice result for this integration. So let's start. Now let's say the function f of x is defined from set a to b this function f of x is defined from set a to set b and f inverse is defined from set b to set a that is f inverse of x now for f of x a is my domain and b is my range and it is uh, it is bijective so that's why it is range is equal to codomain because it is on to function now i'll write the values f of a when you put input a you'll get output as c in the function and when you input b you will get this as output as d. Similarly, I can write for inverse because inverse is defined from b to a. For inverse, b is my domain and a is my range because it is a bijective function so range is equal to codomain. Similarly, f inverse, I can write f inverse of c is equal to a and f inverse of d, I can write this as b. So let's start with this integration. So I want a nice result for this two combined integration. So I'll start with this second integration. I'm going to alter the second integration. To alter the second integration, uh, first of all, I'm going to write f inverse of y. f inverse of y, from here I can say it is equal to x directly. And to calculate the value of dy, I need f of x. So f of x is equal to y, I can write from here. So if I want dy, I want to differentiate this whole value. So if I differentiate, I'll get this as f dash of x multiplied by d of x is equal to dy. Now from here I'm going to substitute the value of d of x, d of y. So let's start with this integration. This I'm keeping this intact as it is a to b integration a to b f of x multiplied by d of x plus integration f inverse of y. I just told you f inverse of y is equal to x. Now I'm going to substitute the value of dy. So value of dy from here is equal to f dash of x multiplied by d of x. Now we're going to tackle the limit that is when you put c here, you'll get this as f inverse of c and f inverse of c we have calculated already that is f inverse of c will be equal to a. So lower limit will be a. Now let's talk about the upper limit. So when we put here d, we'll get f inverse of d and f inverse of d we have just now calculated that is b. So our integration will be a to b x times f dash of x. Now I can club these two integration because the lower limit and upper limit are same. So this integration will become a to b f of x plus x into f dash of x whole multiplied by d of x. Now this integration will be equal to a well-known integration that is x times f of x. Why? Because again you differentiate you will get the same thing. So integration of this is x times f, f of x and here the lower limit is a upper limit is b. Now we are going to try to will try to simplify this expression. When you put b here you will get this as b into f of b minus times of for lower limit you will get this as a times f of a. Now here I don't want the result in f of b so I'm going to replace the value from here. So f of b is equal to d so the first expression will be b into d minus a into f of a is equal to c. So final answer is bd minus ac. So we got a nice result for this two integration that is it is equal to bd minus ac. Now how to remember this expression? Product of upper limits minus product of lower limits. Whenever two functions are given and they are inverse of each other, so answer will be product of upper limits minus product of lower limits. And this is a very powerful tool because if you take two functions which are impossible to integrate, so individually you cannot integrate when you take at the same time these two integration, I can integrate and the integration value will be equal to my, the product of upper limits that is BD minus product of lower limit that is minus AC. So that will be all and thank you.